okay you gotta let me do this you gotta let me do this video <laughs> you have to let me here hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Copali, and today I'm doing a get ready with me I've got the time that's all I have time for right now. <laughs> We're gonna just get ready for the day and talk a little bit and that's all. I'm so sorry about the lighting. Let's just get started. Today I feel like I want to just do something natural because it's like the daytime so I don't want to look too heinous and clown-like. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. It'll probably be a more natural like everyday look obviously. Also I'm in no way a beauty guru so that's that's that so it's <laughs> it's just gonna be basically me trying my best and maybe failing okay so I'm gonna start out with some rose water that's all delicious how are you guys doing today I always ask you how you're doing and uh, rarely I get answers so actually how you doing how you doing also I hate the feeling of shit on my face honestly so I don't even know why I'm doing this, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going to start with this. It's basically going to be the exact same makeup I did for the How to Be Less Sad video, but we're going to ignore that and it's going to be great. Taking the shape tape shit and putting that on my under my eyes and my lids. That's it. Light medium. Let's see here. What's going on in my life? Honestly, not much. I've been sick, which for the past two videos I've been kind of sick. Also, this lighting. What do we do about that? What do I do? Because my apartment is literally the darkest place in the world. This is also dry. Yeah, nothing has been going on really in my life. I got this dog actually a week ago today. She's awesome. She's exactly what I always wanted in a dog. I know I had like another dog before, but um, we were not a good pair and he was a little bit aggressive. I already talked about this. I don't know if I actually posted that, that video. I don't think I did, but he was a little bit aggressive, so I had to give him away. I also wanted him as an emotional support dog, and uh, he was making me feel a lot worse. He made me feel worse after I got him than how I had been feeling before. So I was like, you know what? He's gonna find a better home. I actually was planning on taking him to the shelter and then I took him to the dog park like the day I was gonna take him to the shelter just because I felt really bad and I, you know, I don't like, I, did, I felt like such a bad person. Um, and then I like was just walking around letting him play, feeling shitty, and then he ran up to this group of ladies. Also, I'm not really gonna tell you what I'm doing just because I'm not a freaking beauty guru. I'm just using the same palette as before. It's literally the exact same makeup. Then walked up to follow him because he had walked up to this group of ladies and they were like, oh your dog's so cute, like what is he? And I told them and then I was like, I have to actually give him away though and I'm taking him to the shelter just because we are not a good mix and it's really sad. And then this girl walked up right as I said that and she was like, wait, what dog? And I told her, I showed her my dog, Apollo, and she was like, um, I want that dog. Can we figure out how to make that work? So I brought him to her house at like 8 p.m. that same night and he stayed there. And now he's been her dog ever since. That happened like three weeks ago now. And I'm so happy for them. And then I just basically spent a little while not really like I wanted a dog still and I was still thinking about it but I like kind of gave up I was like you know what I don't want to just get a dog to get a dog you know I do truly need an emotional support dog and so I'm not just gonna make the same mistake I made before and get just any random dog that ends up being insane so I like waited wasn't really interested. I was like looking, but like not super crazily. And then last week I woke up and was doing some like breathing work. And then my friend <laughs> immediately called me on the phone after I was done with my breathing work. And she was like, dude, you have to come to where I live right now. I just found the perfect dog for you. Come right now. So I went, I literally just woke up, made some coffee and went. I didn't even bring clothes to spend the night or anything and um, met her and I was like, I, I met my dog now, Raven. Well, before I went and met her, I was like, okay, if this dog doesn't immediately come to me and like sit on my lap or do some shit that like 
is a sign that she wants me to take her. I'm not taking the dog. And so I like sat in the room and waited and I was like, she's not gonna come to me. This is not my dog, whatever. And then the lady like brought, the, the volunteer brought her in and the dog immediately like freaked the frick out, ran up to me and just like jumped on my lap and curled up and I was like, cool, so I'm screwed now. The rest is history. I took her home that same day and I've had her exactly one week. So, fun story, right? That's, that's it. That, that's how I got my dog. And I'm very, very happy. She's not really given me any problems. She's so easy to take care of. She's literally, like, if I could say the reason why I want a dog, she's literally the exact reason why I want a dog. Like, I'm also blending out my lids just because I hate when it looks super obvious that I'm wearing eyeshadow, if that makes any sense. I like the way that it looks when it's like, oh, your eyes have some shadow, but it looks natural, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Also, my beauty blender is definitely not wet enough, but who cares? I'm trying to decide if I want to put on mascara or something. I mean, not mascara, I'm putting on mascara if I want to put on a little bit of eyeliner. I'm kind of feeling it kind of feeling it so I'm gonna do it oh yeah I'm going back to New Mexico tomorrow um, that's for like um more of like a family get-together thing that my dad's doing however my friend is coming with me the one who told me to come and get the dog um, so that's gonna be really fun and it's gonna be a really good time also like this eyelash is going crazy you can't see it at all in the quality but it's okay so she's coming we're gonna just be there from friday to sunday which is gonna be really fun and i'm excited so i have to like pack today and get some stuff done i'm not done yet but if any of you guys are eyeliner wearers get the nyx matte liquid liner it's the best one it's also super easy to manipulate and uh like take off if you need to if you like messed up or whatever you can literally just like gently rub where you messed up and it comes off. However, it stays on then for a very long time. So makes no sense, but it's great. So if you want to get a good liquid liner, get this. You can get it literally anywhere. Target, Ulta, Walmart, I don't care. Oh, I also started watching the show The Marvelous Mrs. Maz Maisel. It's literally so good. I'm on only on episode three, but it's like the best freaking show ever. It's really good. I love her. She's cool and witty and awesome. So if you guys are looking for a good show to watch, I would recommend that. We're not doing wings today. Wings are not happening today. We're just doing the liner, which is already on my face, and we're good because that part looks good. Now we're going to move on to curling the eyelashes. I never used to curl my eyelashes, and then I saw a Tanya Burr, like, IGTV thing of like her makeup stuff she used and she had the like most awesome looking eyelashes and she was like I didn't do anything to my face the only thing I did today was curl my eyelashes so yeah I also don't know if I'm doing it right frankly this terrifies me because I don't like things being close to my eye that's probably why I rarely ever do makeup anyway cool story bro right I know and yeah, now we're gonna put on some of the sick German mascara. Um, so I started the hormone balancing program. I'm on day three now, and honestly, I feel pretty freaking great. Like, the meals are all really small, and I have to eat f six times a day. And um, so that's like a lot of memorizing when I have to eat. But I've basically just been like putting on an My camera ran out of freaking memory so sorry about that anyways as I was saying it's been pretty easy the only thing is like I've been putting on alarms for like every two to three hours to remember that I have to eat because you know it's just a lot of food not a lot of food because the meals are all very small but it's a lot of remembering to eat so yeah honestly I think I'm done basically this is the finished look I'll go into better lighting but I also usually put on chapstick or something. You guys know I don't really use anything else on my face. It's a, a very natural, like, everyday look. And I feel so girly talking like this right now. But you know what? I have that part of me. And anyone who doesn't like that can go suck on a piece of corn. So that's my message. Also, I've been having to drink so much water. That is annoying. But... It's kind of good to remember. I already feel like 
a lot less bloated, which is good, which is was one of the big problems that I was experiencing was I was so freaking bloated and now I'm not, which is really good and we're just gonna see what happens. I don't know how long this program's gonna last. I'm just kind of going until I feel better. So it might be a very long time, I don't know. Or it might only be like a month or two, I don't know either. This is the final look. Uh, it's really simple, not really, oh look, my eyes look cool. Uh, it's super simple, not that cool and impressive, but it's a nice everyday look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs up anyways because it supports my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, please subscribe, I need it.